In this module, Dale is going to show us one of the most popular heavy truck transmissions in the world, the Fuller 13-speed transmission with a splitter on the top four gears. Eaton makes a 13-speed and it's a quite a versatile transmission. You can take and run it as a 13-speed, you can run it as a ratio control 13-speed, you can run it as an 8-speed or as a 9-speed. I see that this transmission has two air controls. What are they and what do they do? The two air controls are the high-low range valve that we've seen earlier and then the splitter button. The splitter button is used when you're in high range to select the top four gears. The 13-speed transmission shifts basically the same as a 10-speed. However, now we've got a splitter button that we can use when we're on the high side of the transmission. For example, fifth overdrive is a half step between fifth direct and sixth direct, and sixth overdrive is a half step between sixth direct and seventh direct. And these are very useful steps for the professional driver. Now, can you also do downshifts in half shifts? Absolutely. You can use the half shifts for when you're climbing hill, you have big loads, and you want to keep into an ideal RPM range. And you do that by using the splitter button that's on the shift lever now. And those are selected for fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth. And when you want to go into direct for those gears, you move the splitter button to the back or rearwards. If you want to go into the overdrive position, you move the button forward, then you'll be in fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth in the overdrive position. And one of the things that you do not want to do is use the splitter button in neutral. If you want to go from fifth direct to fifth overdrive, you move the button forward, release the accelerator, push in and release the clutch, and then you will be in fifth overdrive. The proper use of the splitter button is as soon as you take and move the button into overdrive, you've got to release torque. The thing to remember is that unlike the high range, there is no interlock safety for the, when you're making overdrive shifts from fifth to overdrive. That's why it's very important to make that move and release torque. So is the splitter on the 13 speed the same as the range change? Not exactly. On the range change, when you're in gear position and getting ready to go through neutral, it won't change until it hits neutral. On the splitter button, as soon as you move the button, it wants to shift, but it can't because it's torque loaded. That's why you have to release the accelerator in the clutch. Pre-selecting is very important when you're using the splitter button. Eaton also makes a fuller 18 speed that operates much like the 13 speed, right? Yes, let's go check that out. So we're in the 18 speed now. Dale, what can you tell us about it? The 18 speed has a range valve and a splitter button. You'll notice a slight bit of difference between the shift pattern in this transmission and the 13 speed. And the splitter button can be shifted in all gear shift positions. When should I move the lever to make my shift? Okay, you do not move the shift lever, you move the splitter button. If you wait to press the clutch before you move the splitter button, you'll cause rapid wear on the shift fork. And what I want to do now is show a compound shift from 7th overdrive to 8th direct. I'm in 7th overdrive, I'll double clutch into 8th gear direct, and at the last second I'll move the splitter button to direct. Now we're in 8th direct. Is it all right to skip shift on an 18 speed? Yes, it is. The only thing that you have to take in consideration is your load and your terrain. I'll give you an example. I'm going to skip shift from 6th direct to 7th direct. Now we're in 7th direct. Downshifting can be accomplished by doing either the button only or a complete lever shift or a compound shift. If you're going to do just a splitter button, I'm in 8th direct right now. To go into 8th overdrive, I move the splitter button forward, release the throttle, push in the clutch, and now I'm in 8th overdrive. To make a compound downshift, what that entails is doing a complete lever shift and a button shift. I'm currently in 8th direct right now, and I'm going to make a shift into 7th overdrive, a downshift. What you do is you move from 8th direct 
with a double clutching shift and when you get into seventh overdrive you're going to move the splitter button to the overdrive position while torque is released. After that it'll complete its shift and you'll be in seventh overdrive. So, in summary, never use the splitter button or the range valve when the transmission is in neutral and the vehicle is moving. And remember, never to wait to make a shift after you've moved the splitter button. As soon as you move that splitter, you have to make the shift. If you don't, you're causing friction and wear on it. So, as soon as you move that button, make your shift, and you'll save your transmission a lot of unnecessary wear.